Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Lesson 643. The title of today's lesson is The Difference Between Cancel Out and Offset. Okay, if somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. Uh, if one thing cancels out another, it negates or takes away from something, especially something good, useful, or that one wanted. So, cancel out tends to be more negative. It's taking away something that was positive. Uh, if one thing offsets another, it balances the effects of something, and the final result usually leaves one with no advantage or disadvantage, or kind of close to it. I don't know if it's always exact. Uh, the term offset is used to make up for or compensate for. So offset tends to be more positive. You already got, you know, you already got a loss, and you're trying to make up for it to to get rid of that loss. So. Actually, they're kind of similar, but looking at it from two different points of view. All right, let's continue. Uh, all right, we got several examples to show just how this is used. Every illegal vote for the other party will cancel out a legal or rightful vote for our party. So, yeah, that's if you felt like the other side was cheating and they they keep adding all these illegal votes, you know, it, no matter how many more you can get on your side, it keeps canceling them out. So it's taking away. So every illegal vote is taking away the legal vote. So in that sense, it's canceling out. We'd be a little more likely to use cancel out. Um, all right, number two, the higher cost of gas is canceling out a lot of our profit. Okay, you could say that. Again, uh, your usual profit margin is really being hurt uh, because it's taking away from that profit margin. All right, number three, the recent plunge in that stock price cancels out most of my gains for the year. Well, if you had a portfolio or this stock price, you thought you were you thought you were making so much money and suddenly that one stock went down a lot. And, you know, suddenly you thought you had a good year and not so much anymore because it, it canceled out those gains. Number four, we're going to have to cut our spending habits to offset our loss of income. Well, this Maybe somebody, they lost some of their work between the husband and wife. They don't have as much work now. And they realize, you know, they can't, they can't keep spending money like they did. So they have to try to make up for that. And in this case, they're going to try to cut their spending to do that. Number five, that company decided to raise its prices to offset increased cost of the production material. So the materials that they were buying to make the product went up. Uh, and therefore, if they don't do anything, their profit's going to go down. So they have to raise the prices to kind of offset those, you know, the bad extra prices, the higher prices. All right, number six, the extra demand in the Japanese market helped to offset our losses in the German market. So maybe you're selling two different markets. One market went down, but the other market went up. But it helped to offset them, helped to make up for the other losses, helped to compensate for the other losses. Okay, anyway, I hope you got a better feel now of when you're more likely to use one than the other. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.